Hey everyone, my name is Joseph Chai and today I'll be sharing some of the tips and tricks I used on the AP Physics 1 exam last year and hopefully this advice can help you guys get your 5s and 4s or whatever score you guys are trying to get on the AP Physics 1 exam this year. So just before we start, a quick disclaimer, you know, the advice I'm sharing to you guys today is not necessarily going to work for everyone, but no worries if it doesn't work for you, just please make sure to join our Discord server using the link below and we'll try to help you out as much as we can in whatever way possible. So the first thing that we can start off with is um, last year when I was taking the course, my teacher actually told me to solve problems in terms of equations and concepts rather than through numbers. So oftentimes a problem might ask you to derive an equation for a certain variable or express a variable y in terms of variable x. And in these situations, you really can't solve the problem through numbers but because these variables are unknown values. So you actually have to solve them in terms of uh, equations and in terms of different uh, variables. So a quick example, let's just say we have a ball, right, and we're dropping it off um, from x certain height, right, and we need to prove that the gravitational field strength is the same as its acceleration. So the first thing we would say is, well, we know that the net force equals the mass times acceleration, and if the only um, force acting upon this ball once released is the gravitational force, we would say that the gravitational force equals ma. And since the gravitational force is equal to mg, we would say that mg equals ma. And in this situation, if we use this method of variables, we can just cross out or divide both sides by m and we would be able to say g equals a instead of actually substituting the values like 9.81 or 2 kilograms into the equation improving the numbers to be equal. So this method works really efficiently and saves you a lot of time on the AP exam. So the second thing I would say is that we retake as many practice tests or questions as much as you can. Um, you know, through physics you can only learn through practice and exercising the concepts through problems. It's not really like bio or chem where uh, you can you know memorize the fact and it just stays in there. Uh, you really have to exercise it and uh, put it into use in these problems and situations. So the fourth tip I would use is definitely uh, think of the problems in a real life situation. So test it out if possible. So for instance, if the problem asks you in which scenario would a cardboard box experience more friction on ice or on wood, you know, if you're thinking of ice skating as compared to ice skating on wood, it's obviously easier uh, ice skating on ice because it's much more slipperier and you know the coefficient of friction is much less but without even comparing the coefficients of friction you would know in the back of your brain that this is a logical answer so you know just thinking things through in a real life realistic situation helps out in all these problems a lot when you're stuck so the final tip i would definitely say is watch as many of the college board videos um, that they have. So last year when I was taking the exam, I watched a lot of their college board videos. I didn't watch all of them um, since they're really long, but the ones that you have trouble with in the units, watch those and you know master the concept. And those equations and those, um, those videos really, really help you out as much as you can. So, um, you know, just to wrap this up, quick shout out to my teacher, Mr. Miller, for helping me with the AP Physics one last year. Um, and, you know, just take advantage of any of the opportunities that are made available to you. So if you guys like this content, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to join the Discord server and we'll, you know, help you guys along the way. To me. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoy, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and join our Discord using the link below.